what's going on YouTube, Urban Legend, and today we will be watching a online battle that I recently had, where I was, let's see, let's think of who I was, um, Epirus, yeah, I was Epirus, and I was going against Rome, so let's go ahead and we should go and watch this replay. So essentially, how I lined up, this is how it was, my main, obviously my main line, my front line was uh, Pikeman. Uh, two uh, Thuro Spears sides, two Royal Peltests, and obviously Slingers with two Heavy Shot Cav and two Standard Mercenary Cav. Now, essentially, when I obviously originally set up, I was just having a look to see roughly where his units were. This is basically made up of a lot of heavy, very heavy infantry. He does have some heavy cav somewhere it used I think it's around here somewhere they were down there but it brings them all down here about four of them and once I fast forward this once I start moving so yeah essentially I start moving <coughs> in this direction I just wanted to sort of line up now it's quite an open bit I want to stay in these trees I'll see protect myself from any uh, missiles Essentially, what he does, my opponent, he brings his, well, starts to bring his units down here. So I'm thinking, you know, he's he's bringing me. What's it? Quite an open battle in an open area. But this was all part of his tactics. You can see he has got some, what are they, Sakari Ekates. He's got about four of them. So essentially, I'm just going to line up again. So once I've lined up, let me just fast forward this. So I set up. So he moves down here, and he carries on moving. So now I just essentially want to just move my units down here slightly, so he can't get around the back here, which I, I thought that's where he's going. So I see that, and again I just move my units round, just sort of line up just round about here somewhere. I do bring my. A Thillian Cav and also my Citizen Cav back down here so they've got a group of four because I realise he's bringing his Cav towards his other so I think he's got two or one now I'm not too sure so he's got so he's in, I think he's got three so he brings his yeah there's, there's his one there you go there's his four cavalry all Sakari Ekates Soki Ekates should say he's got four so I'll bring my Cav round here just in case he comes essentially when I start moving my army down here he doubles back and then goes down here. He's looking to exploit this gap that I've left. I see this. And I don't bother moving my units back. And you'll see why in a minute. This sort of plays into my hands. I've played someone who did this before. So I, understood, I knew exactly what he was going to do. Should I get... I want you to go down there so I'm mostly occupied. And he's going to bring every single one of these units into this gap. Now if you look at his equites, that's still here, they're not moving. So I see they're not moving. I get my own cav, so I see they linger in this area. I'm going to wait until he gets his units, obviously in this gap, so he thinks he's exploited me. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring these units just round here. And same with these units here, I'm just going to bring them around here. Because he's pretty daft. He, he, he's not that daft to attack me front on, on my pikes. So again, you know, he's got all his units bunched up here and he's not moving. And they're not firing. So I'll get my units to come straight in. Take out his missiles uh, and skirmishes pretty much almost instantaneously. He does get a bit of a charge on here. He turns back actually. I could have got his general there, but I didn't. He's moving him back in there. So now he's going to get all his units around this back. But he's failed to realise that I've already moved my uh, front line to a brand new one. So as you can see, I'm charging my cav. He's got a group of f five different uh, missile units. I'll literally wipe them out straight away. <clears throat> he does have two units here that will keep chasing my cav. And I don't mind that, they can keep chasing me all day. So essentially what I do now is, 
all my skirmishes and I'll fire in into this little section. I'm going to bring my two pike infantry here around to attack this guy here. So I'm going to bring him there, down there, and I'll say I get a bit, bit of a charge there with my pike. So now he's going to get a, a chain route with all these inf uh, skirmishes. And again, he's still marching his units up in this direction. I don't know why. You know, he's taking a lot of damage now. He's got Peltast and as well as Slingers being fired upon. Now he changes the direction. But again, he's, his cavalry is still around here somewhere. I don't know why he didn't bother using them. So what I'm going to do now is just get two units of my slingers just to fire some volleys into these guys I've got my unit coming on the back there to get a charge on there my pike infantry so they're pretty much gone now you know three sets of pike infantry again I've got pike, pike infantry in there pike infantry from the back here they're still taking massive amount of damage and we get my cav to come around the back to come up here and round into the back of his units here and again, his units are pretty much wiped out. Now his cavalry start to make a, an appearance, but I've already seen that. And we'll start readjusting my units accordingly. So my Peltas are still, I think they're still firing. These ones ran out of ammo anyway, so I've got them to get a charge there. I've got my Thurio Spears firing upon these guys. I do get a charge in a minute, and again, my main cav, my general, has got a massive charge upon these guys, and each. Let's see how much they got there. They got quite a lot. They got 15 kills in. So he, again, he's very slow, and he charges for some reason into my front of my pikes, which was pretty stupid. I know they lifted them up slightly. I don't know why they did that, but they did do. So he manages to finally get round my flanks, and he is going to get a charge upon these guys here. And that's fine. Again, I've got my raw peltis here coming into these guys. And what I'll do is I'm gonna hold him up with my wild peltis. He does stop here for some reason and he doesn't use him. Don't get no charge. So my peltis will come in here. And then what I'm gonna do is you can see here, I do have a set of pikemen. They were gonna keep these at bay, but he's not using them anyway. So I'm just gonna bring them down here into the side of these guys. We've got to get him routes now. The Salian Cav is doing massive amounts of shock damage to his infantry. Cohorts there are routing. Cohorts here. You know, going down. And again, these guys here. I'm going to try and get him to come after my Cav, but I'm just going to keep moving away. And this game is now is pretty much set a match. He's got units everywhere that aren't doing anything. He's got these guys here not doing anything. These guys were doing nothing, I've just got a charge upon him, he's got missile infantry up there doing nothing. So I think he's I think he gave up at this point and he's getting routes here by his cohorts. It does get rid of some of my missile infantry. But again now I've got him pinned with my uh, Thero Spears at the back. And as you can see he's getting quite a lot of routes now. And I think that's pretty much set a match. It does quit pretty much they don't wait all the way to the end, he does quit pretty early. Uh, it should be any time now, I think. Yeah, I think he starts quitting now. That's when he quit. So, you know, a bit of a tip there. He does try and, you know, use a deploy a tactic to get around the back. But you know, with them sort of tactics, you've got to have a plan B. And each of the plan A. And he's fo too focused on plan A. He had the units everywhere, not doing anything. And he should have really brought his units around the back, his cav. He would have brought them around a lot earlier than. Yeah, my missile infantry would have been capiche pretty quickly. They wouldn't have had an effect on what they did anyway. So we end that replay. And as you can see, I only lost 373. And he lost 780. You know, all these, it's mainly, that's mainly these guys here. These just disappeared. He just got disintegrated. So thanks for watching, guys. See you.